y'all. It's Paula. Hope only orchids. Hope everybody's doing really well. I am um, joining in Care Collab um, for the Phalaenopsis Sogo Vivian. Um, basically, um, this plant, um, I just grow it in my grow room along with everything else. Um, I don't do anything special. I don't treat it any differently than any other Phalaenopsis. Um, and, and basically that's it. I mean, um, they don't, they don't like as high humidity as my room is, is having. Um, I've been trying to cut back on the humidity a little bit so that the side of the room that they're on is not so high. Usually only 50% humidity is enough for a Phalaenopsis. Um, so the problem that I've been running into with a lot of my fowls is, is like the higher humidities cause them to get crown rot and stem rot so easy. Um, I had a week where like six of them just went boom, 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 boom for no reason. And I'm just like, ah, six of my fowls. So I'm like, well, I guess I just wasn't meant to have fowls. <laughs> um, they weren't anything really special. I mean, I don't like to see any plant die, but they weren't, you know, it wasn't like my, my Leodoros or anything or my Sogo Vivians. But, um, as you can see, this one here, this one here is marked so, so beautifully. Um, this one has great, uh, cross hatching on the, uh, axis there. Just, just phenomenal. This orchid's so pretty. She's very, very pretty in bloom and out of bloom. So, uh, basically you can see, um, she's doing great. Loving life. Um, I have her in a mix of, um, husk, bark, perlite, and charcoal. And it's mostly, um, this mix for her was mostly, um, bark and perlite, as you can see. So it's, it's a relatively dry-ish mix, um, but, and I do try to keep her sort of pot-bound. Um, they just seem to do a little bit better pot bound in a smaller pot, um, for me anyways. Um, just like this one here. This one was gifted to me, um, and I, I've had a lot of trouble with this one, um, off and on. It wouldn't put out roots. Well, finally, I went ahead and put it in a smaller pot. Now, this one has a little bit more husk, but... <laughs> As you can see, it's definitely um, grabbing a hold of the husk and making roots for me now. So, I should be able to cut this cup off and go ahead and repot it into a bigger, um, a bigger pot. Just a little bit bigger pot. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying. It seems like when I gave them a little bit of room to, to play, um, they, the roots failed and... I was having to take it back down anyways. So this one's been set back quite a few times. But um, I don't know. This one kind of... I mean, I, I can't say it's really losing its white pattern. Um, I don't know if they do. I've heard some people say that they can. Um, I'm not sure if it's a light thing that causes it. Um, I've tried to read up on it. And I honestly haven't come across anything that tells me anything any different um about how to handle the the variegation of them um i don't know if more light causes more white um i really i don't know like i said i've tried to research it and i've come up with nothing um i'll try to find the um the blooms um when these guys this this one this one here has been in bloom. Uh, this one hasn't bloomed yet for me. Uh, like I said, this one's been a little troublemaker and has uh, has had issues till now. Like I said, you can see it's it's starting to pick back up. But um, you know, basically, like I said, I mean, I try to I water them once a week. 
They get my regular fertilizing regime with everybody else. I don't give them any, you know, they don't get um, any extra special care. Um, they get the once a week and that's it. And, um, you know, they have good air circulation, um, decent humidity, and, uh, you know, that's pretty much so it. Now, um, <clears throat> the, the leaves, how I gloss and take care of the leaves on them, um, sometimes I will take, um, depends upon if I've been to the store and, uh, picked up a couple of lemons, I will take an actual lemon and slice it and, um, mix, take a squeeze of that, just like a little squeeze and, uh, mix it in some water and I will wipe them down with that. Now, that also helps with some bugs because, um, spider mites and such don't really like that oil in, um, lemons you know so it, it kind of helps helps keep down the bugs off of them um they don't seem to really be bug magnets or anything but um i usually just use my mix um i keep uh, a soap um soap alcohol and oil mix um in a spray bottle and i use a little piece of uh microfiber cloth and um, that's how I usually do it. I mean, because, like I said, one, number one, you are, um, you're combating the bugs. You know, so you're kind of, all, you're already wiping it, pre-wiping it for any kind of bugs or chasing them off. Um, it does, uh, it does gloss the leaves, which they have a kind of a natural glossiness anyway. Um, they're not, they're not as glossy as, um, a novelty fowl per se but they're pretty glossy um, especially once they're shined up and not dusty anymore but um, like I said this this too helps you know helps them photosynthesize plus uh, you know helps keep the bugs down off of them um, I just rub them down wipe them down with this and uh, every so often and then their their kind of bug regime is um already done for them you know then that's one i don't have to worry about later on down the road um having to do because i usually try to do my bug treatments twice a year um usually <laughs> sometimes i fall behind it just depends um but these things are so pretty when they're shined up too they're just uh they're gorgeous leaves anyways i mean they really are and they're real pretty either um the flower is purple little uh like striped um flower but i will have to i'll have to search and hunt up my flower picture and insert it Up. there you go um, I usually wipe up the axis sides of the axis like that so if anything's going on but and it's interesting how the undersides of the leaves are you know variegated like that too and how they have certain colorations to them but Yep. Yeah. There you go. Um, like I said, I really, really don't do anything um, extra special for them. I don't do anything any differently. I treat them like a regular Phalaenopsis. Um, you know, water once a week, weekly, weekly. And, uh, you know, they do, um, usually they, in order to get them to bloom, you usually do have to get them, give them the cool down. You have to do the little bit of a temperature drop at night. Um, in order to get them to to jump hold and spike for you um, there sometimes they can be tough um, and mine have usually been the one to spike last but um, go check out everybody else's channels doing this uh, care collab um, check out how they do and take care of their uh, Sogo Vivian 
And um, I appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out with me for this care collab. And uh, bye for now, y'all. Till we meet again.